Well, my girlfriend and I were bleeding the brakes last night. That's already gotten dirty. I'm going to take that screen out and wash it. Uh, and when I was bleeding them, they weren't. I was still getting air in the back for some reason. Some of it was okay in the front. And then I discovered there was a puddle. And I went through a whole 12 fluid ounce can a brake fluid and I was still getting dirty fluid out of the left rear right rear looked pretty good it was still kinda dirty though uh, and then when I got in the vehicle because she's kinda small uh, I could you know pump it up and it would hold kinda pressure but then I could put my foot in it and give it some really good force and push it all the way to the floor and that's when I knew there was something wrong I shouldn't be doing that uh, and it was dark so I couldn't see much uh, on the ground and had it been daylight I would have noticed this right away uh, but I did notice uh, last night I decided to look under there for leaks and I found this pretty good sized puddle and then I was trying to figure out where did this brake fluid come from and I realized it came from the proportioning valve and that wasn't good so I was trying to figure out well when I took it apart, did I mess up the seals and it's no good? Uh, so, what I did was I had her push on the pedal while I was looking at this and push it all the way to the floor and I noticed every single one of these fittings was leaking. So I thought, well, I just didn't tighten them enough. And so, I am going to tighten these well actually I tightened I take that back I tightened all of them last night except for this one right down there that bottom left you cannot get a wrench on that thing I mean you, you just you can't do it there's no room that uh, that hard line that goes up here it's just too close so I'm going to have to probably take that one off. I was thinking I was going to have to take this bottom one off, but that's actually the one I'm going to have to take off and then probably bend it back out. And I don't like bending it. But maybe I can just kind of... I don't know. I'll, I'm going to have to get it because that's the one that's still leaking. And... Uh, once I do that, I'll have to test it again, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. But uh, I got the car all up on jack stands, and since it's on jack stands and pretty high up, you can see all the lovely work. I've decided I'm going to do the transmission shift linkage. I mean, you might as well with it being up like this. So, that will be the next shot. See all the energy suspension bushings in the upper control arm. A lot of work. A lot of work was done here. This will be so much easier the second time. I do this to another car. another concern about this and that is that this uh, is probably not going to move because I need this whole trailing arm to come out because of that bolt right there you can see it's not really centered not where it should be that affects the toe and the toe would probably be out so I need the toe to come in on this rear wheel uh, so we have that problem as well and the shifting linkage is right there. Yeah, that won't be hard to get to now. So I gotta replace the rubber that's behind there. And then I have to replace, uh, oh, it's kind of hard to see and I can't find it. Oh, you can follow that arm. 
that arm goes down there to the transmission and there's a couple of little round bushings that are going to go in that one. That'll be the easier of the two, I would think. But I could be wrong. I'm surprised there's not a bushing for that one there. Huh. By that one there, I mean that one there with the bolt. I don't believe there is. I think it's just that one back there and that one in the front. So that is what's going on for today.